Angus on Cannon, I'm among the residents who wake up every morning and thank God for the joy of living in Sierra Madre. Our mountains, forest, wildlife, the charm of our downtown, truly we live in paradise. Into this beauty there has now come an evil besmirching. We have a couple of young people in the audience tonight, so I will be discreet in not detailing some of my comments, but I will hand them in to our city clerk, Nancy Schulenberger. And Nancy, if you would be kind enough to attach this in full to the copies of the minutes that our city council will get. I want to show you the headline of the Pasadena Star News, December the 16th, 2000 issue. Convict has ties to city's leaders. Sierra Madre man admitted having child pornography. Local resident Robert Matheson was apprehended as he crossed into Canada at Halifax and convicted of having this material in his possession. 2,500 pictures, I won't detail them, 280 videos, and many lurid stories that are very heartbreaking and very disturbing. Matheson signed the nomination papers for Joe Mosca and hosted a fundraiser for him at his home on Liliano Drive, and I know many of our community were there. There has been a somewhat significant silence from our mayor on this matter. Mayor Pro Tem Josh Moran told the Star News, I didn't know him at all. He was just another face in the crowd. I do not believe that a man who wears a Scottish kilt around town could ever be described as just another face in the crowd. Photos of Josh Moran and Matheson wearing an I support Josh Moran button have been posted on various websites, as well as other pictures showing the two of them together, all of which totally discredits Moran's statement to the Star News, I did not know him, he was just another face in the crowd. The Star News called me to ask if I knew Matheson. I replied the name was familiar, but I could not quite place him. I also told them that the reports of what he had in his possession was heartbreaking and tragic. Once I learned about the kilt, of course I knew he was the man that frequently seen at Kirsten Court. I recognize that the FBI is now investigating this case and that our city officials cannot say much about it. However, it is disturbing that there has really shown a serious lack of leadership and certainly the silence from our mayor what I would expect from a crime as serious as this, as this would be the leadership of a reassurance from Mayor Buchanan, such as many of us knew Bob Matheson from his involvement in the community. However, I want to assure everyone that none of us knew of his personal involvement in child pornography. I want to assure everyone that cooperating with the FBI, a complete investigation of everyone connected with Matheson is underway and that we will do everything <coughs> necessary to protect the children of Sierra Madre and children anywhere for that matter from this horrible and criminal abuse. That's the kind of reassurance we need. Sadly, so far, there has not been that reassurance. Hopefully, maybe at the end of the public comment time, the mayor will give us that reassurance.